Two fans of the actress Ana de Armas are suing the studio Universal Pictures for allegedly duping them into renting a film because they believed she would be in it, due to trailers and promotional material. Connor Wolfe and Peter Michael Rasha filed a federal class action lawsuit in the United States against Universal on Friday claiming that the advertising around the 2019 movie Yesterday was false, deceptive and misleading as de Armas does not appear in the final version of the film despite her inclusion in its marketing. The lawsuit was embedded in a report on the Variety Entertainment News website, Wolfe and Rasha say they each paid approximately $3. 99 to rent yesterday and claim that, if it weren't for Universal's false, deceptive and misleading advertising, they would not have paid to view the movie. The lawsuit says de Armas, who recently appeared in the latest James Bond outing No Time to Die, is famous throughout America and the world because of her successful movie and other media appearances. The plaintiffs claim Universal used de Armas' fame, radiance and brilliance to promote the film by including her in scenes in the movie trailers advertising yesterday. Naked Nevermind Baby sues Nirvana for child pornography The movie itself, directed by British filmmaker Danny Boyle, is about an aspiring singer-songwriter, Jack, who discovers he's the only person in the world that can remember the Beatles following a freak incident. Jack then skyrockets to worldwide fame by claiming the band's music as his own. De Armas was due to appear as a love interest for the main character in Yesterday, but her scenes were removed from the final cut. The plaintiffs, both from San Diego County, California, are seeking at least $5 million in compensation on behalf of all affected customers. Has contacted Universal for comment, the lawsuit has similarities to a case in Michigan in 2011 concerning the Ryan Gosling movie Drive. The plaintiff alleged that the movie's advertising materials made it seem as though it would be a chase, race, or high-speed action driving film, similar to The Fast and the Furious. The plaintiff said the preview failed to reflect that the movie included many segments of slow-paced, interpersonal drama, with moments of graphic violence. An appeals court dismissed the case in 2013.